Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging unboxing to do today and this has come to me from the lovely people at diamondartgift.com. Um, I've been showing their products for quite a while now and they asked if I would like some more to show us. Yes, of course, love their products. So shall we see what we got this time? Okay, we have, ooh, something in a box. We like boxes. We have a diamond painting, oh, with an eye looking at us. And we have a dinky little doodah that's escaping all on its own. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think we'll have to look at this one first as it's trying to get out of its little packet already. So, yeah, um, the special offers on at diamondartgift.com at the moment. If you go and check out their website, uh, there is, if you buy four, you will get one free, which is great. It's like getting 25% off. Well, sort of, you know, you're getting anyway, you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, there is 70% off shipping as well. So do go and check out the website. See all the special things, new things that they've got coming in are fantastic. Uh, I am just going to insert one here now. Um, yeah, I hope nobody gets easily offended, but this one just really, really made me laugh and I've added it to my wish list. So it's on here now. I'm not going to mention it, so shut your eyes for a few seconds if you don't want to see it. <laughs> okay, right, I'm back in the room. <laughs> Okay, so this, um, as I do always say, when having a look through the website, just go and check out all the new little bits and pieces in the tools and the pens and the storage and everything, because there's some fab new stuff coming out. And I just thought this was gorgeous. Look at that. It's not a hot pink. It's more of a bubblegum pink, but it's still pink. And it's a, so this is a very, very a fine tipped single placer there oops get it in shot list so people can see it so it's not as wide as your normal single places once you've got your wax or your putty or whatever you use in there it is literally going to be a very very light tap and a dot but i think these are more for like um your special drills and things like that and then this end is like a waxy end it's got a cover on it there look and this is like like a a little bit like a wax crayon for picking up your gems so again for your special drill diamond paintings and um, for any of your special shapes and things this is sort of designed for that so i just thought i'm going to give one of these a try and um, i've had these in the past but this as i say seems that a little bit stickier and that little bit softer so i'm going to give this one a go and i just loved the color and the price of this was only $1.99, which works out at around about, I think, £1.30-ish if you convert it. So, yeah, we just had to get that one. <laughs> so I'm going to pop it back in there, despite the fact that it wanted to escape. But it can stay in there for now while we have a look at the other things. So let's have a look at the canvas next as it's looking at us. <laughs> So this one is a 30 by 30. Again, it's a new sort of like, they seem to be bringing them um, most of the diamond painting things, the items in like little ranges. So there isn't just a picture. There'll be like a set of three or four or even five, six, you know. So you can get them as a set if you want. And sometimes rather than having one massive picture on your wall, it's nice to have a set of pictures. And this one just caught my eye. And it's a frog, look, it's gorgeous. Look at that, it's a frog with a rainbow behind it and all these beautiful flowers all at the front. And I just loved the um, like jadey green and the turquoisey blues on it. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And it's all printed in the background as well. So we haven't got a, a white background or anything. It's like a full picture. Oh, and it's all crystals. Oh, look at those. Right, look at those in a sec. Pen, boat and wax standard toolkit. But yeah, look at him. And he's got the biggest smile on his face. Do you think he's in a cloud? Do you think he's on a cloud? It does look a bit cloud like that, doesn't it? It's definitely a very, very happy frog. Just give him a bit of a flatten down. He's got a little bit creased as he's been wrapped around the uh, gems on the way across across a very very big pump <laughs> but if you put him under something heavy just to flatten him out he will be fine he'll get flattened out there and there will be no problem with him at all okay so let's have a closer look 
So yeah, we're a 30 centimetre by 30 centimetre. Uh, there are 10 different gems and colours. There, unfortunately, there are no gem codes on the uh, canvas and unfortunately they're none on the bags either. So this one will just be sort of a standard generic kitty down. But that's okay. We don't mind. He's very, very cute. Look at that. He's wonderful. And if anybody says about kissing him and turning him into a prince, no, I would sooner have a talking frog, personally. <laughs> I'm going to sound soppy now. I have my prince. I don't need another one. <laughs> don't ever tell hubby I said that. <laughs> so, yeah, he's just lovely. Look at that great big smile. And these wonderful eyes that are rimmed with um, a... A lovely gem it was like a nice green colored gem there so it'll make them stand out and then all these larger gems that are going to go around which i'm thinking of those that i might have just seen in a separate packet but yeah and then he's like a rainbow behind he looks very proud of himself doesn't he i've often wondered actually how the frogs felt about it when people just go around picking them up and kissing them to see if they turn into a prince if somebody comes up and just picks you up and gives you a kiss to see if you turn into a prince and you don't and they just put you back saying no oh, it's still a frog i mean how rude is that i'd be devastated <laughs> i'd have to keep the frog anyway <laughs> i've been watching too many disney films i know <laughs> Oh, well, let's give it a quick measure before we uh, have a look at the gems. Oh, dear. Right, my imagination will get me into trouble one day. Uh, so it is 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches. So, yeah, we're just losing two and a half in, uh, two, two and a half inches, two and a half centimetres from around the edge on each side. So five centimetres in total. So, yeah, but I just thought, oh, he's lovely and I loved the colours and I just like the design with the special gems all going around it as well. He's going to look really sweet and he can just sit on my wall and smile. Um, we did used to have a frog at one side of the garden and a toad at the other, but we haven't seen them for quite a while, which is sad. Um, it's since we had a, a new path put in for Hubby to get around with his wheelchair and uh, we seem to have lost them both. But fingers crossed they will come back. We are fairly near to water. But yeah, they uh, they was quite a big toad. Uh, Millie used to chase it across the grass. She never really got that close to it because I think it maybe had a funny smell. But yeah, she used to um, sort of like jump across the grass following him as he was jumping across. So yeah, but we've not seen him for a long time. Yeah, we had to be very, very careful cutting the edges of the grass as well because sometimes he'd be hiding and we didn't want any accidents. So I do like frogs. I say I like all animals and everything. So Okay, let's have a look at these gems. Oh, got another one escaping there, look. So let's say it's ten. Oh, hang on, so I've got more than ten. Hang on. Maybe not, doesn't it? Oh, seven and eight, look. There you are. I was going to say, usually the uh, specials are at the end, aren't they? But we've got a seven and eight written on there. That's fine. I know where I am now. Don't confuse me. I'm easily confused. So we're starting off with our... Oh, now then, they're not silver. I think they've got... Or are they silver? They might be. Might be just this lighting, but they've got a little bit of a sort of a grey tinge to them rather than being standard silver i think once they get on the canvas though they might be very sparkly though very nice uh we've got a pale a green there like a limey green and a very very pale blue so these colors are very pastely actually a very pale pink and a very pale peach wow and a pale lemon oh so that's your standard crystals and then our specials uh, a marquee in green with an iridescent coating and a marquee in like a deep blue and yep that one has got facets on it has it facets oh i don't know let me look oh no there's no facets on those just look like there was a crease down the middle but actually no there's no facets on those blue ones so they're different they're nice and then we've got these little yellow semi-spheres with an iridescent coating on very pretty and then look at these i like these these remind me of golf balls so they've got uh, like they're around with all these little bubbles on the top so yeah they do they look like golf balls <laughs> 
tell you, my imagination will get me into trouble one day. So, uh, 7 and 8 are A and B. So, yeah, I think we guessed that A is going to be the golf ball -y ones in between all of those. And then the Bs are all the little like dots and the middles of the flowers and things around there. Oh, all around the top there, look, as well. And then the, uh, where are we? C and D are going to be all on the flowers, look, making up the centres of the flowers, just to give you that uh, sparkle in the middle of your flowers. Oh, very pretty. We like you, Mr Frog. Oh, very, very nice. Okay, pop these away and we'll have a look at the one in the box. Ooh. Right, oh, and the price of uh, the little froggy was $3.99, which is going to be around about £3-ish, man. So we have a little project in a box, oh, with a stand. And yep, we've got our new diamond painting boxes now as well with the correct spelling on, which is excellent. Okay, and the price of this one was $8.99, which is going to be around about probably £6.50-ish. So, yeah. Let's have a look, see what we got. Okay, so we have, oh, a base, look at that. We've got a base that's diamond painted. Oh, that's pretty. And it looks like we've got all letters and flowers all over it as well. That's good. I do like the fact that um, I've had a few now where the bases have actually got gems on them. Because whereas I like the acrylic bases, if you're going to have an acrylic uh, diamond painting project, um, and it sort of like disappears when you stand it up because it's like the see-through, the see-through acrylic. But if you're going to have a big chunky base, rather than it just being the black or the wooden, you know, like the wooden colour, um, it is quite nice if they're diamond painted because it carries on the picture, doesn't it? Okay, so looks like we're all crystals and specials. Oh, look, we've got a hot pink flower. Oh, this is definitely this one. And oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Oh, somebody's had a fight with this one. <laughs> Gosh. Um, yeah, whatever this is, has decided it didn't like that green tree and it's decided to, um, yeah, uh, flatten it, basically. So we did have a green tree and uh, a wax and a pen. But uh, yeah, that one's uh, just met a little bit of an accident, but never mind. That's okay, we have got plenty of them, but goodness, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Wow. Two pieces, three pieces. Goodness me. Okay. Right, and the actual little thing is, can you tell what it is? It's a little gun clock and he's waving at a bee. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Look at it. Oh, and the colours and everything. They were all like honey colours, aren't they, with the yellows um, and the little bit of darker colour, the black. Oh, look at his hat. It's like um, a pastel blue and yellow and pink and white. I used to have a jumper like that that my grandma knitted me. And it was all those colours, stripes, and I loved it. I wore it till it nearly dropped off. And I was really, really sad then. But I grew out of it as well because I was uh, quite uh, young when she did it. But yeah, absolutely loved those colours together. But oh, oh, look, you can see his little knee as well. Just above his boot. Oh, oh. must be a summer one, this, because he's not got his trousers on, has he? He's just got his little, like, tunic on and his little boots. And his little knees are just showing through. And he's sat there on a little log, look, with all these flowers growing round him. And uh, the bee looks very happy. It's actually got a smile on its face. And it's just come there, look, just to have uh, a little bit of the nectar from that flower. That's a big flower. Goodness me, that size of that flower is nearly as big as his head. Heck. <laughs> that bee's going to be really, really full after going into that flower, isn't it? But yeah. Oh, look, it's got like, um, is that a butterfly on his back or has he got wings? But there's like, I think that must be just a butterfly that's stuck to his shoulder or his hat. It's stuck on all the flowers on his hat. But yeah, and he's talking away. Look to the little bee and the little bee's got a big smile on its face. 
Oh, that's lovely. And his little laces in his boots. Oh, that is so cute. And it is one of your little wooden ones as well. And then look, the design from sort of the base here with all the little flowers and everything and the colour of your gems all moves down onto your base. So yeah, it follows through. So you're getting a more sort of a cohesive, shall we say, uh, picture there, which follows through to a 3D scene rather than it just being a flat coloured base. I love that. Oh, he's lovely. I love how he's waving at the bee. I wonder if the bee will wave back, you know, like when they're on the floor sometimes and they wave at you. I think they're more or less doing that, really. But I always used to think when I was little that they were waving at me. But yeah, if you see a bee on the floor, just get a little bit of sugared water or something and just let them have a drink of sugared water. They just need a little bit of energy to fly away. Got to look after the bees. Okay, so let's have a look at these gems and see what colours they've got. Goodness, so there are 20 different gems and colours in this one. That is a lot for a little project. So we're going to have a lot of contrast and a lot of shading and everything on this, which is great. So we are starting off with our standard silver. Nice and clear crystal there. A very, very pale. Ooh, is that like a peachyish colour? I think so. And then a lemon colour and a blue colour. And a little bit of pale pink and a bronzy colour there. And sort of a pale, oh, a bit of a peachy orangey colour. And that's like a nice honey gold. A lime green and a very pale blue. And your standard 310 black there. And that's just like, uh, what colour has that got on it? You can't always tell until you get it on the canvas. I think that has possibly got a little bit of like a greeny, lemony colour to it. Just a very, very slight hint. And then we've got some semispheres in gold. Oh, and some little teeny tiny teardrops in green there. Some large teardrops in green. Some very small... Oh, what are they? I think they're just plain crystal. They look like diamonds. They really, if you turn them upside down, it does look like a diamond rather than a teardrop. Very pretty. And then some little flowers in a clear crystal. And some little bit bigger flowers. Sunny yellow. And we've got hot pink flowers. Yay! And then semi-spheres in like a pearly colour with the iridescent coating on. So I think we can see where all the flowers are going to go. Look at all these hot pink flowers all over this. Oh, I've definitely got to do this one. And then all the little, where does that go then? So, oh, 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 where is oh? Oh, oh, is there. So have we got any more? We must have some more. Oh yes, there's one there. So there's odd ones dotted around. Um, yeah, we can see the pink flowers and the gold flowers and the silver flowers. And then the teardrops are just making up all the outside the petals of the leaves and the flowers. So very pretty. Oh, lovely. Oh, liking this one. And I've just noticed we've got the gem and crystal codes on the packets as well. So we will be able to kit these down into number and uh, code order. So that's good. I like it when I can put them all away with the friends. <laughs> Okay, so we started off very naturey today, uh, although we had a very bright pink, uh, more as a special drill pen for picking up special drills and things. You can do your normal gems as well, but I've bought it as a special drill pen with that well, like waxy end there, a little bit sticky end. And then we've got our gorgeous little frog with his rainbow and everything in the background there, loving that. And then this wonderful little gonk with his little bee friend there, all little wooden ornaments. So yay! Great little uh, items from diamondartgift.com. So do go and check out their website and check out their special offers. And a huge thank you to Diamond Art Gift for sending me these. Absolutely love them. Oh, we've got a frog smiling look. He's watching the little bee talking to the gonk and he's just thinking, oh, that looks just so cute. He obviously agrees with me. <laughs> 
okay well huge thank you diamond art gift for sending me these i hope you've enjoyed looking at them if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.